a telecom and a very vital race it is indeed because in not only can the all Ireland championship uh, be decided in this one but there is a very interesting person indeed on pole position and that's Brendan McKenna who's managed to put his four-year-old Reynard the second of these two cars of picture at the moment onto pole position and that's a superb performance by the swords driver the man just ahead of him with his hand up uh, just to indicate that he's slowing down coming up to the grid is PJ Fallon and he must win here this afternoon to take the All-Ireland Formula Ford 2000 Championship. So there, number five, Brendan McKenna pole, then PJ Fallon, then uh, David Wright, the young driver from the North of Ireland who's done so well this year, Chris Murphy well up on the second row, Leslie Wright, David's father on the third row, Robert Thompson, one of the fines of the year, those are all Reynard mounted, then Noel Roddy from uh, Dundalk, Dicky Curran, number 27 in his rather ancient uh, Van Diemen, but leading uh, the B Championship in Formula Ford 2000. And those are the ones that uh, are really going to be in on this one. Again, alongside me is Brian Chute. Yes, Brendan McKenna there, and the Shanahan sponsored uh, Reynard 84, as Alan was saying, sitting beside him, PJ, and an 86 Reynard. Brendan's time this morning, 58.1 seconds. PJ's time 58.13 so three hundredths of a second between them David Wright on the second row on the inside a time of 58.28 and at fourth place Chris Murphy 58.6 now they're on wet tires but it's still treacherous conditions here should get a lot of wheels but McKenna gets the wheels really spinning there and he's got a really flick through but PJ got the grip Brandon spun the wheels much too much and he's going out wide, leaving the door open, trying to look at around the outside. But PJ got a classic good start and now McKenna right on his gearbox, but unfortunately got too much wheel spin there in the little dip for pole position. So it's PJ number seven in the golden pages of the bats. PJ Fallon coming down to Budweiser. He'll be tiptoeing in there with McKenna right on his boot. Chris Murphy's in fourth and David Wright is in fifth and closing on Murphy at the moment. Then we've Leslie Wright, then Robert Thompson who got a very good start but has lost the ground since there. Then we had Noah Roddy. But PJ Fallon exactly where he wants to be for the championship at the moment and an absolute expert here at Mandela. Uh, Brendan McKenna getting all kinds of sideways uh, in a big effort there at Subaru to come back into terms with the race but uh, not as you can see succeeding. And look at David Wright, very sideways there in fourth place and he must challenge as they come up into Dunlop. He does on the outside. He's along the wrong side of the course. Yes, he got up on the outside of the corner there, but Chris Murphy could see him coming, so he closed the door. But Chris is coming out wide, and right fair who came across the back of him, has jumped up into third place there. It's a gamble you take, but McKenna really trying there, twitching under braking. That's David Wright in the background closing up as well. McKenna in the red car, getting more wheel spin and more side with, but this gives Wright the chance to really try. He made a lovely maneuver, and we've a spin there. Two of them there spinning out. That was Curran in one of them. And number 21 there is Curran. He is spun backwards, but there's our leader. Number seven, PJ Fallon, followed closely by Shannon. The Shannon sponsored Brendan McKenna, 84 Reynard, but he's really coming under the attentions. Trying on the outside, David Wright is now. Had a look at the outside. He's going to have a look at the inside. Getting into the spray there. McKenna gets very sideways. Gives Wright a chance to really close up. Brendan's going to have to relax a little, Alan. And get his pace really set down and just get his head down and pull away from right. Well, this is an absolute godsend for P.J. Fallon because really that's just exactly what he wants behind him, a bit of a battle. They're really going to hold themselves up in these conditions, but there's no doubt young David Wright looks the danger man here. He's got the inside and he's not been given any space there by Brendan McKenna. Uh, a little bit dicey maneuver that time. Now Wright's on the outside. It's very wet out there. McKenna's lost it, has he? No, somehow he gets the grip. And that was uh, a really nice uh, situation, but look at right now. Surely he can't go right around the outside there. No, he can't. He has to queue up again. He must attack now again when they come down into Budweiser. And all the time, P.J. Yes. Fallon just eking away. Yes, right, having a look down the inside there. He um, is trying both sides. McKenna very, very sideways, losing grip there, coming out of Budweiser. And as Alan said, this is just what P.J. Fallon wants. He wants a battle royal for second place. He can relax, pick his lines, pick the best lines. McKenna still under pressure there from right, really on his gearbox. 
but PJ Fallon just nicely pussyfooting and tiptoeing around that corner, no tail out. McKenna this time going to hold the center of the road in hopes that he can put right off. David Wright back on the outside of the corner, ready to get grip. PJ losing a bit of traction there. David Wright made a slight mistake coming up under braking. You can see the spray, you can see the conditions, right tucked in behind them for a tow. And the man there, number three in fourth place, the new fourth place man, is David's father, Leslie Wright, the multi-champion in sports uh, Formula 4 in 2000, I should say. And he really seems to be closing now on these two. And really, Brendan McKenna making the classic mistake. He's worrying about the man behind him rather than the man in front of him. Well, I must say, if I had David right behind me, I would be worrying through. This is the young tiger of the class. As you said, Alan, his father is up into fourth place, a multi-champion in an 88 version. But Brendan, at the moment, looks as if he can't get the grip the rest of them. Maybe his back tires are slightly worn compared to David Wright. Wright having a look down the outside. This is a good maneuver if he can get away, but a Brendan would be wise for this one. Holds the tight line, makes him go around the long way. A change of gear there just in the middle of the corner. B.J. Fallon, our leader, and here comes McCannon. Wright's taking it very tight. He's looking for the inside line. There's P.J. and Wright closed the door. <laughs> Brendan closed the door there on David, which is all perfectly legal. If you get into the corner, Wright trying to get the grip down the inside. McKenna closed the door again. Gets Wright to go to the outside, which is the long way round for Telecom Corner. Wright really going in deep, and he's really got his braking, but Brendan should come back around the back of him. David will lose grip. He's pussyfooting there, and that was a classic move down the outside and a very brave one, Alan, in these conditions. Very nice maneuver indeed. Now, this is what the championship's all about, because PJ will not be happy to see that position. I don't know if you'll notice him in his mirrors, but he'll certainly be informed of that position when he comes past on the next lap, because his pit crew will inform him of the fact that David Wright is now up into second position. Leslie Wright is uh, going to be uh, Brendan McKenna's next problem, because Leslie Wright is undoubtedly closing in the dark blue car. There you see it, although, having said that, classic commentator's mistake. I think he made a little a little blunder down at the far side of the circuit because he seemed to drop back again. You see PJ looking there, glancing at his mirrors. Where is the opposition? And here it is, coming right in on him now. David Wright in second place, Brendan McKenna third, Leslie Wright fourth, and those four well clear of the rest of the opposition. Yes, once David Wright got by Brendan, who seemed to have a traction problem, couldn't just get the back of the car to stick on, is now beginning to close on PJ. So PJ's breathing space is over. Young David, PJ getting slightly sideways there, a little flustered. Definitely right, seems to have the grip. He doesn't seem to be getting the tail out. But coming up to David Healy to pass a back marker as they come down to Budweiser. PJ has unhappy memories about this passing recently. He was coming out to pass a back marker, unfortunately clipped him, was sent off. Wright gets the break, PJ is away, Wright is up the outside there, that's number 24, David Healy, but it's still PJ, good on David this time, got well out of the way and left the two leaders too, but Wright definitely lost a car length in that manoeuvre, but PJ is the wily old fox, he will play these back markers to his advantage, he can hold back and just pass at the right time, so is your opposition, so here we go, our leader there, PJ Fallon, McKenna beginning to fight back, and Leslie Wright getting it all back together there in fourth place beginning to attack McKenna so these four all on the main straight at the moment just half distance now six laps to go exactly half distance and we have the makings of an absolutely classic 2000 race PJ in the golden pages Levant an air called sponsored car being followed by David Wright in his father's plantar sponsored car and then we have the Shanahan's Reynard in third place of Brendan McKenna the pole position man and Leslie Wright now closing in on this four Reynards all of different years ironically that one is the newest one that's this current year's model yes it's 84 86 87 88 cars there and as we said before the pole position man Brendan McKenna was driving the oldest car and this is the battle here David Wright there he's in an 87 car in second place chasing PJ who's in an 86 car so we're in 86 leading in 87 leading in 84 and as Alan said in fourth place ironically the 88 this is the latest design this is father of David Wright that's a Reynard SF 88 which is the latest design 
slightly different wing to the other cars and supposedly very very good compared to them last outing in Mondello Leslie definitely had the legs of everybody but today in the wet he's struggling there in fourth place our leader there PJ has got to be super cool now get right over to the right hand side of the road get all the traction he can he's got to pull inches away from David Wright on every lap never mind car lengths every little bit number seven a lucky number for PJ is always raced under number seven getting into the double apex Brendan McKenna now settling down let's see as Brendan got this traction problem sorted oh he's got it sideways again I would feel that Brendan's back tires Alan may not be up to the scratch of the others certainly looks like it but of course it could be just the slightly older model not having just quite the traction of the newer ones Reynard cars have totally dominated this formula now for about four or five years um, and indeed uh, they are possibly one of the real coming manufacturers they're also dominating formula 3000 these days as well as continuing to dominate 2000 so down they come and PJ, let's not forget the mastery. David Wright getting awfully sideways that time, as indeed his father Leslie does uh, coming out of Dunham. Let's not forget the mastery of PJ Ballon here. He's driving an absolutely superb race in dreadful conditions. Very popular, been racing for many years, PJ. Always turns out his machinery very smartly indeed. And Tommy Byrne, who's been his faithful mechanic for years, will be utterly delighted at this sight. He won't mind getting a little bit damp at Modelo here today. Yes, still driving very well. Leslie right there in fourth place, number three, in the blue Reynard. He's getting the traction out of the corner, but doesn't seem to have the power in a straight line. This is a back marker now, we're coming up, and it's our leader, PJ, moving well out of the way there. I think that's Mick O'Dwyer, but PJ got through. Now let's see if David Wright got through. PJ through Mobile, and David Wright's through Mobile, and McKenna right around the outside. Good driving by the back marker there, stays off the racing line. He's out now on his line because he feels that he can move, but, but still leaving room for Leslie Wright to get up the inside, which is a good move there. David Wright having a look at the outside of the straight. PJ driving the classic line of Mondello to get right into the braking area. You can see the front wheels really at the odd lock of a wheel, then a pussy foot, then on the power, slight twitch, back to the right and side of the road. There's a gear change there into third, then it's flat through that left-hander. As he gets over the brow of the hill here, he just nips top gear for about four or five seconds. He's into third gear then for the Budweiser complex. David Wright taking a tight line there. There's Brenda McKenna, our pole position man, who's having the traction problem. He's again sideways coming out of it. And a very good time this morning, Brendan, of 58.1 in the drive. But this is the man who caught him sleeping on the line, or I won't say sleeping, caught him spinning on the line, because unfortunately, Brendan spun his wheels too much, didn't get the traction, and PJ Fallon got the jump on him for the first corner, and that's the way it stayed. David Wright is the one who's moved up from third place. He's moved from third place up past Brendan McKenna there. Number five, that's Brendan McKenna with Ted Shannon, the next member of the Leinster Motor Club, the organizing club today. Ted is in the haulage business, has been a, a good supporter of Brendan over the years. David Wright now trying all he can, the second of these cars, trying all he can, and he's closing slightly there on the break, and McKenna getting very, very sideways again lack of traction but very very sideways and it looks as if Leslie Wright has the same problem through the left hander air cell as we come nipping top gear again PJ flat as he comes down little dab of the brakes into third now right there you saw what he did he turned in that little bit earlier because it's a drier line he feels he's getting a little bit more grip and in he went McKenna there still spinning and this is David Healy here another of our back markers number 24 David Healy he is getting through the S's at the moment. And I think uh, David Wright is really putting on a very determined effort in these last couple of laps. Uh, there's PJ, still in the lead. He's going up uh, the, the... Are we looking for David Wright? Is he there? He's very close. He's right in his draft. So we could have a sensational last lap here. Uh, very shortly indeed. 
They're coming up to complete their 11th lap. On they go to their last lap, and David Wright has now provided a real challenge in the closing stages of this. It's wet, it's very wet, and Wright is closing in once again. He seems to have a slight breaking advantage. But remember, all PJ has to do is to... Oh, and there, I'm afraid, Brendan McKenna has gone. Leslie Wright is gone. That's a back marker. Don't worry about him. But it's not going to affect the lead. Here it goes. Yes, and I think that number 24 there, the under braking there was the cause maybe of that accident, maybe I hold him wrong, but Wright losing a bit of traction there, he's lost a car length, but he'll come, he's getting it very sideways, David Wright getting slightly excited, he was really on the tail of PJ as they come into the last time to the set of S's, and it's really trying, you can see Wright, but this is where PJ has got to keep the cool, he's got to drive that fast line, he doesn't have to protect, he still, you see Wright is really trying too hard there, getting right out, PJ holding the centre of the road, this is his last corner, what he's got to do is not give it too much power because Wright will then catch him on the run in and it'll be a slingshot, but I can tell you that PJ has won this race no matter what Wright can do. And superb, he is delighted, he's won the race, he's won the All-Ireland Championship, Leslie Wright comes through in third place ahead of Brendan McKenna, the pole position man, and then a very, very long gap. The next one up is going to be number six, Chris Murphy, way back in the mark here at Mandela. So, P.J. Fallon, uh, the winner here in the Formula...